So to me, there's one umbrella key ingredient, and that is an overall task force which is not just comprised of the farmers, but it actually takes in all of the interests of all of the dots that would be connected to the farm. So you've got the business dot, perhaps you've got the social dot, you've got the marketing dot, you've got the meat, um, the butcher dot, you've got the middleman, you know, the middle woman, the middle person dot. All of the different dots that actually play a role in the selling and the distribution and the growing of food, they need to be connected. And I think the best way to connect them is to get a task force because farmers are busy growing their food. And to me, a farmer is like an artist. They, they're, they tend to be introverts and they just love doing what they're doing with their hands. Everything else is kind of, it's not where the, it, it's not where the talent basically lies. And I'm not saying farmers are not talented with business or anything like that, but it would ease and up their own pressures. It would ease up their own abilities or their own efforts to say, you know what, I'm a farmer, I deserve more. You know, I'm a farmer, try out my product. I'm a farmer, I've got children who also want to go to university. And so in order for that farmer to do that, and in order for the consumer to want to buy from that farmer, there's too much in between that needs to be taken care of. So that's why I feel that the task force is the number one thing. And the People on the task force, they come from all over, right? They come from all different sectors of society. So that's the first one. The second one is community, right? You can't have a local food movement if you don't have community. And I find that um, in British Columbia, right now the local food movement is very Caucasian. It's very European based. It's on the verge to me of almost being a university, upper middle class or hipster, right? And we're Indian in Vancouver, we're Chinese in Vancouver, we're Cambodian, we're Japanese, we're increasingly from Latin America. If we do not incorporate all the ethnicities that are a part of this community, it's never going to work. So the next thing is community and figuring out how do you take it from the next step, from the European base of society to the other uh, British Columbians who have different heritages and who live in different homes of different cultures. So that's the second one. Um, the third one, and it could be a part of the task force, but maybe not, it's marketing, right? And what I was talking about, you know, like how can it be that I'm at the supermarket and I see women wearing these expensive blue jeans, right? These expensive rock and Republic, I will never forget that, those blue jeans. And they have, they're wearing $300 pair of blue jeans, but there they are in the supermarket choosing the cheapest possible food they could buy. And a part of me admires those blue jeans like, wow, how did they manage to do that? How do they manage to convince you to take your hard earned money, right? And buy these expensive blue jeans. So if, if a human being can buy expensive blue jeans and think it was worth it, a human being can buy what they perceive as expensive food, which I don't think is, but you know, spend more money on their food as well. So I do think there needs to be a huge push, right? Whether it's attached to the task force or not in marketing. And when I say marketing, I don't mean it in a cold way. I mean it in pushing it and making what they've got attractive. So you know what? It's attractive. It's cool. It's worth it. And it's who we are as Canadians.